Every week I hear from tons of people wanting to know how to set up the chart we use every day on TradingView. Well, I'm going to show you everything you need to know to make that happen. And I encourage you to do it yourself. Doing this will give you a little skill set in how to set up charts and you can modify the charts as you learn things, change things, find things that work for you. Because what we do here is we give you a skill set that you then improve on for your particular situation. Now look over here, you'll see that we use a moving average uh, that is at one, open high, low, close, four. It just takes all those, the open high, low, and close of each candle, divides it by four. What it does is it puts this little black line here that just sort of connects all of your candlesticks. So you don't have to do that. You don't have to connect them. We like it, so we do that. Our ATR, I'm going to give you that in just a second, show you how to throw that up on the screen because we're going to set up a brand new screen, but I want you to have the settings. ATR, it comes standard at 14. It takes 14 time periods. It divides them, and that's how it sets the high and the low so that you're able to see how much volatility there is in price. And that, of course, helps you use the ATR training to set your profit and loss bands like you see on the screen right there. And uh, how do you do that? Well, of course, that's a whole nother training, but that's over here in your prediction and measurement tools. You hit that. You have a long and a short, and you just pop that box in there, and then you put in the numbers. Now, that's our ATR, and then we have the 200 EMA. Now, that's exponential moving average. You pop that in, too. That's another one of your indicators you find right here. And, of course, what does that 200 EMA do? It tells you whether or not you are above or below it. When you're below it, you're looking for short trades. When you're above it, you're looking for long trades. Why? You're following the trend, and the master trend typically is that 200 exponential moving average. What is that on the half-day chart? That's 100 days. What is it on the two-day chart? 400 days. What is it on the weekly chart? It's 100 weeks, okay? So let's move on. We're going to open up. This is how you, this is how you go and you create your clean screen to begin with. You just push act right there. And then you go over here, and then you see it populates this. Now you go to New Layouts. Now I go to New Layouts. What do I get? My screen pops up this way. Now maybe yours will pop up a little differently. Doesn't matter. All you need to do is go to Indicators, and I need you to search for the two, two of these things you see here, the first, and write this down if you need to, or screenshot it, ATR Stop Loss Finder by Very Fid. You can search for that under My Scripts or Fav. You can just search for it. You'll find it. When you find it, save it. Make it a favorite, okay? The other you want is this one right here, STC Indicator, a better MACD. Sha Yan Kim, whatever that might be. It's this one. So once you get those two, now all I'm going to do is click that. And if you looked behind, you saw where, bam, look magically, the ATR popped up in there. And then I go down to the STC and I click it. And boom, the STC pops up the shaft trend cycle. It's this one right here. It's not the ever get. It's this one. It pops up there. Now, I just, that disappears. And now look what we have on our screen a lot of what we need. Now, we're going to get rid of the volume indicator. I don't want that, so I highlight it right here, and watch what happens when I hit remove at the bottom of the top screen. Bam, it is gone. Now, I can adjust this bottom screen and top screen as much as I want. I can make it smaller. Just set it however the hell you want. You want to do it halfway, great. You want to have more of the candlesticks, that's great too. Now, as far as Heiken Ashi candlesticks go, I just, again, for me on my Apple computer, I put two fingers on, it pops up, I go to, um, I go to settings, oh, you just, it's just, it's just below here, you can't quite see it, but I go to settings. Now, you can pick the colors you want. I like darker colors, I don't like this teal green, I like the dark green. So I'm just going to change to dark green 
on all of mine, though all three dark green. And as far as the red goes, I like this brighter red, so I'm going to change that. You don't have to. You can make yours chartreuse and bright yellow if that's what you like, whatever you care for. Now, also put in real prices on price scale instead of Heiken Ashi, because I want to know what the real price is. Remember, those you taking our Heiken Ashi training, you know the Heiken Ashi price is different. Well, this allows you to keep it the same. Now, you can see we have our Heiken Ashi candlesticks. Now, if you're not showing the Heiken Ashi candlesticks, just go here under candlesticks. If you've got the regular ones popping up, choose Heiken Ashi. Yours might just populate with just candles. We'll choose Heiken Ashi and then, of course, go through, change your colors. Now, I find this odd. When the ATR sets up, you see the red is on top and this green is on the bottom. I don't really like that so much. Uh, so I am going to go into my ATR settings. And of course, you can change your colors. You can change your high-low colors uh, and see how the, the high is red and the low is green. What the hell is that? The low should be red, shouldn't it? And the high should be green. So I am changing it. And it is that easy to do. Bam. Now it's green and red, which is, seems to me like the colors it ought to be. Now I showed you that if you want to go, oh, we have to set in, okay, we want to go to technicals and we want to look for what? We want to have EMA. Can we find it that easily? Uh, yes, moving average expo exponential. There we go. We want, oops, I put two in there. I don't need both. I'm going to get rid of one, and I'm going to go in here to settings. I'm going to set my EMA at what length? It's going to be 200, okay? And it's going to be, of course, on all my charts. It's going to be at the close, or no, I tell you what, I believe this is the way I do it. I just showed you that. It's the high-low open close, and it is the exponential moving average, and I want, it, let me find the color here, I want the color to be bright yellow. There we go, and I want it to be good size. I want to really see it. Okay, so there we go, and there it is. It's popping right up there. Now you see, there's not, it just happens to be the chart I'm on. It just started drawing here on the half day chart for the Van Eck Bitcoin. That is the Bitcoin futures that we track. It just started in November. So let's look at the SPY. And of course, you'll see that it's there the whole time. Now, of course, you can stretch your charts out. You can drag things around and all that. Let's look at the bottom of the screen. We don't really have to do anything to our chef trend cycle. It's just there. It's just there and just what we need. It's beautiful. Now, of course, you can put in that moving average if you want to connect all of your candlesticks. You don't have to do that. And, uh, but, but the main things to have are your ATR, your Heiken Ashi candlesticks, and your 200 EMA, big fat gold line, so you know that if you're below, you're going short. If you're above, you're going long. And your STC at the bottom of the screen. You've got everything you need, my friends. It is that easy to set up. If I've left anything out, tell me. And I will go back and re-record this for you guys. But this is a good start. Easy to set up. You need to learn how to do this on your own anyway. And as you go along, you can make modifications. You can add more exponential moving averages. You can adjust the Heiken Achi candlesticks as you like. You can add a volume indicator if you want. You can do whatever the hell you want. You are a free operator. The trick is what? To win, to make money, to make more money than you lose. So, I love bringing this kind of stuff to you. I love hearing from you. If you appreciate what we do, then show your love by 
becoming a Patreon supporter. We do so much work for our Patreon members every week in addition to all the free stuff we do for everybody who joins us. God bless. All the best from the whole team at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.